<coughs> Happy days, baby! Woo! <coughs> I don't know if the GoPro is still recording or not. Yeah, it is. So basically, last night I put on a 14 tooth sprocket. It's the JT252 14 tooth. That one does fit, but it's not the correct one 100%. The one you want to go with is the JT249 14 tooth sprocket. So I'll repeat that. The correct one for the Grom is the JT249 14 tooth sprocket. The only difference between the 252 and the um, 249 is that the 252 splines aren't as deep. They're two millimeters instead of three on the 249, which will give you full spline engagement on the, the shaft that the sprocket goes on. Some people haven't had issues. Other people, it, it does wobble a little bit back and forth, but um, I ordered the 249 anyway, so I'm just going to swap it when that comes. What a good, good progress there, I think. We hit some good stuff. We got up to balance point. We just got to keep practicing and holding it up there. Oh, I'm so stoked, too, because I was getting real mad. I'm gonna, this is a PSA. If you're trying to learn wheelies, put that 14 tooth sprocket on right away. You're going to spend so much less time trying to fight the bike to get it up. With a 15 tooth, I was revving it. I mean, I was being a pussy because with that one, I feel like you have to, with the 15 tooth, you definitely have to rev it more. And it's that like mental connection where it's like, oh, higher RPMs, it's gonna, it's gonna fucking fl fling out from under you, which isn't the case because it's a Grom and it has nine horsepower. I hate these Ford Explorers because I think they're police cars, but they're not. Actually, they are. It's an undercover. <laughs> Oh yeah, so with the 15 tooth, you're really fighting it. And I spent like the three, first three or four days um, just struggling to uh, to get the bike up because uh, it's, it's a head thing. You know, you're worried about looping and stuff. And then now today with this lot, the 14 tooth, I was revving it to where I was at the 15 and barely doing any uh, body movements. And it was coming up, no problem. And I don't know, maybe because it, it's the fifth day that I've tried wheelies, that little adrenaline rush where you get it all the way up and you kind of freak out, that kind of went away. Um, there were a couple times, I will say that it did, uh, you know, I got it up a little quick and I came off the gas and I flipped out a little bit. But my biggest thing was that taking my foot off on the brake pedal side, I was able to keep that there, even though maybe I wasn't using it, but I was still there instead of having it flail off, which is just good to have that reaction. And it'll be just over time where you're, uh, you learn that, uh, just to get that reaction and keep it there. It'll come with time. That's a decent place. <laughs> yeah, I tried to, to wheelie this in the grass and that wasn't really happening over there. This wouldn't be a bad place to to run it. I'm just worried that these fucking fences would close. What does it say? Moving gate can cause serious injury or death. That's my only concern, is that those fences close on me while I'm back there. 